All right, y'all. I had a senior moment. I cannot remember who I saw post this thing. It's one of my friends on Facebook. And whoever you are, I apologize because I would give you credit. But you may not. You may not like it because you may get blamed. But anyway, um, they posted a kayak assist lift. Uh, and for those of you that have noticed, I am not getting any younger. Uh, and and uh, knocking on 50 this year. Uh, definitely got broke up on the leg a couple years ago. So things are harder to lift up than they used to be. So I need all the help I can get. This year ended up with a taller truck, so the Ram's a little taller than the Taco was. So I need all the help I can get. And I saw this. This is a Rhino uh, T-loader. I believe that's what it's called. I'll show it to you after a while. But anyway, I ordered it, and it just came in. So I started popping the box open. We'll see about putting it together. Uh, hopefully get a, a, a one of these heavy boats out here and load it up, see what, see what we think about it. I'll give you a full review of it, what I think of it now. Uh, I will come back later and do it after the honeymoon after I run it for a while because I've got a couple trips this year where I wasn't planning on taking the trailer and that's why I wanted this thing because there's times that like I'm heading down to the Keys if you pull the trailer down to the Keys you know it's it's more money the tolls every block yada 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 harder to find places to park so if I can load the boats on the truck I'll do better that way than I will haul on the trailer it's just easier in some places so and there's times that I like to travel light, and that's that I don't want to be pulling a trailer going when I'm running and gunning. So, but I need still need all the help I can get to get the the boats up on top of the truck. So, Rhino, and the reason I did that because I was like I saw that post on them like I got a Rhino rack. And they're like I didn't know they they made anything like that. So I pulled up Rhino rack, and, uh, and sure enough they had this thing, and it looked like a pretty good option for 300 to 325 dollars. So. Not cheap, but uh, uh, definitely well built, looks like anyway. We'll see. I'm fixing to put it together and we'll kick the tires on it together. All right. That's basically it. Laid across the tailgate. Let's get to assembly. All right. I'm going to put these little triangles. And since my big old boats are. So dang wide, I'm going to set them out here kind of far to like see what I need to do. On there tighter than a bullfrog's hind end. Alright, it's got these little square buckles that you go through the hole. And there's a cam buckle for adjusting your width right there. So, well, ain't that just snazzy. It's adjustable here so you can set your height. You want to sit, kind of set it even with the top of your rack, so I've got it pretty close to that. Uh, I went ahead and bolted mine in. You can get a, it's got another pin uh, where you can lock it in here if you wanted to, but I, I bolted mine and clamped it. So we'll see now. This little pin pulls out, and it's keyed, so it only comes out one way. But when you pull that pin out, now this drops back. You put your included anti-slip mat back to protect the back of your boat and go from there. So, let's go get a boat. <laughs> you say, maybe he'll try it out with a Kilroy first or something light. Oh no, let's go get the biggest boat we own. y'all well, other than being needing to be a couple inches taller I mean that wasn't bad at all I gotta admit the uh, I probably need to move the rack up just a couple inches let me do that we'll take it down see what happens all right I'm gonna show you guys what happened because not everything goes right I got smacked in the head so anyway don't do what I did. Really? This is why you can't do videos at my house. That was 
right. So, if I'll do that, that hurts. All right. But anyway, we put a pull rope up here. Let's see what happens. Guys, I'm telling you, that's money. I mean, that's the biggest boat that I've got. You know, other fact, you look, I'm on the back of the driveway, so the truck's already a little higher anyway. And it's a tall truck for me, for a short guy anyhow. But I mean, that's the biggest boat, the widest boat, heaviest boat. Went up fine, came down. <laughs> Once I smacked myself in the head, I mean, that's a, that's a learning experience. But using that strap to pull it off, man, that was, that was smooth. I, I like it. You just pick up the front end and get it on there. Then you pick it back in and slide it forward. And it goes on up. <laughs> I'm not tall enough. And it's on the back of the driveway anyway. But then to get it down, this is what I figured out when I was up there. Turn around and try to pull it down. I think it smacked me in the head. But... That's money. That was a lot easier than what you normally try to do. I mean, that's a lot easier than what I normally try to do. I like it. And you can, while it's up, if you want to leave this back, you can strap, you can strap over this as well. So you can have a three-point if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Now you just lock this back that's in. Same as that lock. Yep. Yep, it's keyed, so it goes in a, it goes in a certain way. And then once it goes in, you, you turn it and it stays in its lock. I like it. All right, my normal disclaimer. I do not work for Rhino Rack. I paid for that one. I paid for that one. I paid for that. All of that. Well, actually, the truck I'm still paying for. But them racks I paid for. So, my money, Rhino didn't give me nothing. If y'all like it, find it dandy. If not, let me know why. Y'all take care. Love you.